One of the best things about the holiday season is having your house feel super cozy. Here's some of my easy hacks to make your house feel cozy. Now, if you don't wanna get your fireplace going, you can actually put a quick and easy fireplace on your TV. So there's an app called, I think it's called Fireplace Channel. I'll go on here, I find a fireplace that I like, and I'll just add it to my TV screen. Instant fireplace. I love the smell of holiday candles. This one is flannel by Bath and Body Works. Having a scented candle really helps with the cozy vibes. In November and December, to make my house feel really cozy, I love to have music on my TV. I actually have a subscription to Amazon Music. I love Amazon Music because you can go through different holiday stations. They also have like curated playlists, and then they also have different Christmas albums, so many different things to choose from. So it's fun to have in the holidays. And I usually will just pick a playlist and put it on and then just have it playing throughout the house. Pillows are an easy thing that you can swap out and they just make your house look a little bit more cozy and you can add in some more festive ones. Now, typically you guys know I really like a neutral pillow, but for the holidays, I like to add a little bit more color. So I'm gonna switch out my throw blanket and my pillows right now. For this next hack, I'm gonna show you how to create a bow for the holidays. I love using wired ribbon. The wired ribbon is really important to get, and then I also like using the 2.5 inch thickness. You're also going to need some pipe cleaners. I picked these up at Dollar Tree, but you may already have them on hand. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is start by just making your loops. So you're gonna wrap your ribbon around. Now, however long it is, is how big your bow is going to be. So if you want a tiny bow, you're gonna make it a lot shorter. If you want a larger bow, make it bigger. So I'm gonna wrap it around about, about seven times. Let's do six, we'll do six times. And then you're gonna stop in the back a little bit past the middle. And then I'm just gonna cut it off there. Okay, so now you need to determine where the middle is going to be. So I'm just going to fold it in half and then crease it down. And now you can kind of see where your middle portion is. So what you're going to do at that center portion, hold it together and pinch it on the back. Then you're going to wrap your pipe cleaner around and then you're just going to start wrapping your pipe cleaner to make it as tight as possible. Make sure you have it in the center. Mine's a little off to the side. And wrap it like several times to hold it in place. Okay, the next step is fluffing the bow. And this is the part I think people get the most nervous about or you know, don't think they know what they're doing when it comes to this step. So all you're going to do is simply pull these loops out and then you're going to spread them going to the right, to the left, some you're going to put in the back. So my first loop right here, I'm gonna pull this out and I'm just gonna pull it to the top there. Now my next loop, I'm gonna pull out and pull it to this side. Now with this next one, let's go to the back. And just keep kind of pulling them apart. Now if you have like a tail like that, a lot of times I don't pull that one apart. Okay, so that doesn't look great, but that's okay. Just go with me. Now flip it to the other side, do the exact same thing. Right now, all you're worried about is separating, not making it look pretty. So now everything's separated. It's time to go back in and fluff them up and make them look pretty. So all I'm going to do is just literally make them nice and full like this. And this is where having the wire is really important because the wire is going to help hold these loops in place. Now see that one looks kind of weird. I'm gonna pull it down to the bottom. Don't worry if you get one and it doesn't look right. So you just really wanna keep working with it until you're happy with how it looks. Here's the final look. The other cool thing is you can use the ends of your pipe cleaner to attach it to your staircase. You could also put it on your tree, your mantle, or a present.
I saw this hack on TikTok on how to make your own foaming soap using peppermint castile soap and a foaming soap dispenser. Now you can use one you already have on hand or I'll link this one down below. So you're going to start by putting in two thirds full of water. I'm gonna put in about three tablespoons of the pure castile soap. Next, you're just going to put the lid back on. Make sure you leave enough room so that you can shake it up. And then you'll just, oh. <laughs> now you have some foaming hand soap and it smells like Christmas. To turn it into a gift, I'm just going to use some red and white twine. And then I had a few of these Dollar Tree floral pieces. I'm going to wrap it around here and tie it. Okay, so you have your sprigs. And then I'm just going to tie it loosely onto my soap container and then trim off the excess. You can give this as a gift or keep it for yourself. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.